Merry Christmas YouTube, Sensational Sasir is here and I'm back with another Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video. We're here for December 25th, 2020's Vendor Reset. So let's get right into this to see what we got good for this week. For our first gear items, you want to head over to Camp Hudson. Here the weapons vendor has an M700 Tactical. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the base operations. Here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a Vector 45 ACP. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the advanced weaponry vendor. And here we got a G36 enhanced. Also here we got a surplus SVD. Also here we got a tactical M249 Para. Also here we got a high velocity magazine with 7% crit hit chance, 4.50% reload speed, and 11% magazine size. Also here we got a SR7 suppressor with 17% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 2% accuracy. Also here we got a vertical grip with 46% optimal range, 4% crit hit damage, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the special equipment vendor, and here we got a Cassidy. Also here we got a Liberator. Also here we got a converted USC. Also here we got a Black Market AK-74. Also here we got a Classic M1A. Also here we got a Spec Ops mask with the talent rehabilitated on there. Also here we got an extended magazine with 112.50% magazine size, 4.50 reload speed, and 5.60% rate of fire. Also here we got a tyrant suppressor with 7% crit hit chance, 4% crit hit damage, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the special blueprints vendor, and here we got a firearms knee pad blueprint with a gear score of 256. We also got an electronic vest blueprint with a gear score of 256. And also here we got a small laser pointer blueprint with a power level 34. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the cavern. Here the gear vendor has a prototype stamina mod with 213 stamina and 3% damage to elites. And then also here we got a prototype performance mod with 7.50% mobile cover health. For our next gear items, you want to head over to Camp Clinton. Here the special equipment vendor has a pecan if you're a fan for this weapon. Also here we got a Historian. Also here we got a Cassidy. Also here we got a Liberator. Also here we got an Enhanced ACRE. Also here we got an SASG-12. Also here we got a Converted SRS. Also here we got a Classic RPK-74. Also here we got a Gunslinger Vest with a Talent Invigorous. Also here we got an Operator Pack with a Talent Inventive. Also here we got a Prototype Stamina Mod with 255 Stamina and 4% Signature Ability Resource Gain if you're into that attribute. Also here we got a Prototype Performance Mod with 6% First Aid Ally Heal. Also here we got a Heavy Magazine Spring with 5% Reload Speed, 2.50% Crit Hit Chance, and 11.10% Rate of Fire. For our next gear items, we're still at Camp Clinton. Head over to the Special Blueprints Vendor, and here we got a First Wave PF45 Blueprint with a gear score of 256. Also here we got a Firearms Glove Blueprint with a gear score of 256. Also here we got Electronics Gloves Blueprint with a gear score of 256. And also here we got a High Velocity Magazine Blueprint with a Power Level 34. And also here we got a Small Laser Pointer Blueprint with a Power Level 34. For our next gear items, you want to head over to Wolves Den. Here the Weapons Vendor has a Military AK-47M. And also here we got a Loud Vent Break with 17% crit hit damage, 6% headshot damage, and 4.50% optimal range. For our next gear items, you want to head over to Autumn's Hope. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 7.50% support station duration. For our next gear items, you want to head over to Madison Stand. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 7.50% turret duration. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the ward. Here the gear vendor has a gunslinger vest with the talent vigorous on there. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the South Paul. Here the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 3.50% ballistic shield damage. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the Grindhouse. Here the weapons vendor has a heavy magazine spring with 12% magazine size, 3% crit hit chance, and 10% rate of fire. For our next gear items, head over to West 39th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an operator mask with the talent Tenacious on there. 
Also here we got our prototype performance mod with 3.50% turret damage. And also here we got a small grip red with 18% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 5% optimal range. For our next gear items, head over to West 46th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an AUG A3 Para XS. And also here we got a prototype performance mod with 7% ballistic shield health. For our next gear items, head over to West 53rd Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone vendor has an operator vest with a talent vigorous on there. Also here we got a prototype firearms mod with 256 firearms and 3066 skill power. And then also here we got a loud band break with 18% crit hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 2.50% optimal range. For our next gear items, you want to head over to East 64th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Gear mod vendor has a prototype stamina mod with 253 stamina and 3026 health. And also here we got a prototype performance mod with 2.50% smart cover damage resilience. For our next gear items, you want to head over to East 61st Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Weapon mod vendor has a pro red dot sight with 19% crit hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 4.50% optimal range. For our next gear items, you want to head over to East 58th Street checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Gear vendor has an operator mask with the talent enduring on there. Also here we got a tactical vest with the talent vigorous. And also here we got some operator gloves with the talent savaged on there. For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to the Park Ave checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Weapons vendor has a Navy MP5N. Also here we got a tactical ACR. Also here we got a Black Market SASG 12S. Also here we got a SOCOM M1A. For our next gear items, head over to East 53rd Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Weapon Vendor has an ACR. And also here we got a small grip with 17% crit hit damage, 4.50% reload speed, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, you want to head over to East 46th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has an operator pack with a talent specialized on there. And also here we got a prototype performance mod with 3.50% mobile cover damage resilience. For our next gear items, head over to East 40th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a tactical pack with the talent Relentless on there. And also here we got a high velocity magazine with 7.50% crit hit chance, 4.50% reload speed, and 5.60% rate of fire. For our next gear items, you want to head over to East 34th Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has some tactical gloves with the talent Savage on there. And also here we got a high velocity magazine with 7% crit hit chance, 4% crit damage, and 5.40% rate of fire. For our next gear items, head over to East 31st Street Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a Spec Ops mask with the talent Tenacious on there. And also here we got a Reflex Sight with 7% crit hit chance, 2.50% stability, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, head over to the 5th Ave Checkpoint. Here the Dark Zone Vendor has a VX1 scope with 18.50% headshot damage, 4% crit hit damage, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DZ2 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone Gear Vendor has a tactical mask with the talent refreshed on there. Also here we got a Spec Ops Armor with the talent Reckless on there. Also here we got a tactical pack with the talent Specialized on there. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DZ3 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone Weapons Vendor has an AUG A3 Para XS. Also here we got a Military AK-47M. Also here we got a Super 90. Also here we got a Surplus SBD. And also here we got a Military M60E4. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DC4 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone Gear Mod Vendor has a prototype performance mod with 7% support station range. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DZ8 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone Gear Vendor has a tactical mask with the talent refreshed on there. Also here we got a tactical vest with the talent reckless. For our next gear items, you want to head over to DZ9 Safe Room. Here the Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor has a high velocity magazine with 7.50% crit hit chance. 4% crit hit damage and 5.20% rate of fire. Alright everybody, that's it for our Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video for December 25th, 2020's Vendor Reset. I hope everybody tuned in to it, found them something that they needed. Smash out that sub and like button, y'all. Appreciate that support. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, or Twitch. I'll be on there sometimes. Merry Christmas to all, and I will see y'all with the next one, everybody. Take care, peace.